Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles fully inscribed in a blue rectangle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, P is the center of this uh, smaller circle, whereas Q is the center for this uh, yellow circle. And moreover, we got this uh, segment uh, AB, where A and B are on this uh, blue rectangle such that uh, this segment uh, AT is uh, 27 units, whereas this uh, segment uh, BT is uh, 48. And this point uh, T is the point of uh, tangency. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that this segment uh, AT is uh, 27, whereas this other segment uh, BT is uh, 48. So therefore, this whole uh, segment uh, AB is going to be 27 plus uh, 48 if we add them we are going to get uh, 75 uh, units. And in this uh, next step, we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these two points B and uh, C that passes through this uh, center Q. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle uh, ACB is uh, 90 degrees because this is our radius and this is our tangent line. And here's our next step. Uh, let's uh, label uh, this uh, radius of this uh, yellow circle as uh, lowercase r. Then this uh, radius is going to be lowercase r as well. So therefore this whole uh, length uh, BC is going to be the diameter of this uh, yellow circle and this diameter is going to be 2 times lowercase uh, r. So therefore our this uh, whole BC length uh, is going to be 2 times r. And furthermore let's make an observation we can see that this segment uh, AT is the secant uh, to this uh, white circle whereas uh, this segment uh, BT is uh, secant to this uh, yellow circle. And now let's recall the tangent uh, secant uh, theorem. We are going to apply this uh, theorem on this uh, yellow circle. And now let's focus on this uh, given uh, diagram. And here we got this uh, tangent uh, PA such that uh, the square of this tangent uh, PA is going to be equal to the segment uh, PB, this uh, segment uh, times uh, this uh, other whole uh, segment uh, PC. And here in our case, uh, this uh, AC is uh, tangent to this uh, yellow circle. So therefore, according to this uh, tangent secant theorem, the square of uh, this uh, tangent AC is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, AT which is uh, 27 and then times this whole uh, segment AB which is uh, 75. So therefore I can write uh, AC square equal to 27 times uh, 75 and if we multiply this uh, right hand side that is going to give us 20, 25. So therefore we can write uh, AC square equals to 20, 25. Let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore this square and square root is gone. So therefore this uh, AC length turns out to be 45 units. So therefore we figured out uh, this length uh, AC as uh, 45 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. 
and here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 75 where our other two legs are uh, 45 units uh, and this uh, leg uh, b c is uh, 2 times r so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, 2 times uh, radius r whole square plus uh, our this side is uh, 45 square equal to 75 square and now simplify so this is going to give us 4 r square plus this is going to give us uh, 20 25 equals to 5625 and now I am going to subtract uh, 2025 from both uh, sides and we can see that this uh, 2025 and negative 2025 is uh, gone so therefore we got uh, 4r square equal to 3600 and now I am going to divide both uh, sides by 4 to isolate r square so therefore this 4 and 4 is gone so therefore r square value turns out to be 900 since we figured out our r square value as 900 and here's our final step we are going to calculate the area of this yellow circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius of this uh, yellow circle and in our case uh, r square value is 900 so therefore uh, the yellow circle uh, area is going to be equal to pi times uh, r square in our case is uh, 900 so therefore that is going to give us uh, 900 times pi square units and if we put this one in uh, decimal notation that is going to be approximately equal to 2827.43 square units uh, as well so thus the area of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 900 times pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 2827.43 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye